Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dr. Janine Show. I am so happy to have you all here and back. It's been a couple of weeks, and I'm glad to be back. So excited to see you all here. So please make sure that you are chiming in on your devices today. I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know where everybody is from as well. It's always so much fun to do these live shows on all of the different platforms. And guess what we're making today? We're going to be talking about sun exposure. We are making my famous natural sunscreen recipe. You will absolutely love this. Guess what? We're also talking about weight loss and how the sun actually helps to eradicate those big fat cells that we've got. So this is a good thing and some of the newest and latest research about how the sun benefits us in terms of our metabolism and blasting away that fat and of course that stubborn fat as well. We are also making a very delicious cheesecake and it's a blueberry cheesecake and guess what? It is healthy and it is high protein. So I want to see some thumbs up for that. Anybody like cheesecake, please, please give me a few thumbs up. And if you're new here, please put a number one in the comments. I want to see all of our new followers that are here today. And if you're just coming along for the ride, this is such a great show. It's going to be super exciting. And, you know, we're going to be in the beauty set. We're going to be in the kitchen set. And it's very interactive as well. So we do have our quiz questions coming up. Be sure that you are participating. You don't even need to answer the questions correctly. All you have to do is do your best to participate in the quiz questions. And this week we have three quiz questions coming up. We do have a prize as well. We're going to mention last time's winner in this episode. So I'm glad to have you all here. How many ones do we have? Hello, hello, thank you. User 327639, thank you for being here. And Jerry for the first time, CM for the first time as well. It's great to have you here. I see a few people love cheesecake. Yeah, we're on board with the cheesecake. You're going to love it. And you'll be able to screenshot. So throughout the show, you can screenshot. I hope everybody knows how to do that on your device. You'll be able to screenshot the recipes and some of the information that I give as well. And if you're new to me, I'm a naturopathic doctor. I share all things natural on all of my social media channels and it's so great to have you all here today thank you for sharing today's live as well and let's get started now last episode when I was live that was a couple weeks ago we talked about red light therapy so if you missed that you can always go back to the previous episodes we also made a beautiful maple face mask and that is beautiful I want to know if anybody has been able to use that since the last time we were here we also made my famous protein balls which are so delicious and we talked about gut issues and SIBO and of course leptin resistance and why that's so important to get this under control in terms of your metabolism your overall health your circadian rhythms so it's gonna be a great show hello 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 user I oh you just disappeared for a second Nadia nice to see you thank you for joining today thank you for sharing today's live as well it's so great Francis nice to see you as well it's so great to have all the new people here so please share with your friends and do that throughout the show okay so where are we going let's talk first about sun exposure and how to get natural safe sunlight exposure and why this is so important especially and we're going to be coming to talking about the benefits of sunlight exposure for weight loss in particular we're going to be making my natural sunscreen recipe as well so I'm going to pass that off for just a second but let's go over here and I'm going to share a bit of information now about the sun and what happens when we actually expose ourselves to the sun and especially that UV light which of course is in the middle of the day and what's interesting is that our skin actually thickens so this outer layer of the epidermis is going to get thicker when we expose our skin to that natural sunlight exposure as time goes on. And this will actually increase those dead layers. So if you ever get, you know, a super duper suntan or even you overdo it a little bit and you notice that you're peeling, that's actually not a bad thing because your skin actually increased that sloughing off of that outer layer of the epidermis. So it's not a bad thing, which a lot of people think, oh, it's terrible. It's not a bad thing. But what the body is doing naturally is building up your own tolerance to that sun and it actually acts like a mirror. So as this gets a little bit thicker here, it's acting like a mirror. So what happens if natural sunlight hits a mirror? It reflects off. And this is something that a lot of people don't realize. So this is your body's innate ability to protect yourself from that UV. Now, tanning actually gives you even higher 
UV protection then does this mirroring effect. And this is really interesting because when we look at the research, it is all about, and here we see, and this is one of the studies that was, so it's not me just saying this, the research has actually been done. And in response to exposure to sunlight, the skin responds by increasing the amount of the upper dead layer, the stratum corneum, which we saw in the previous picture. And this acts like a mirror and reflects and refracts the UVA and UVB radiation. So yes, Mother Nature doesn't make any mistakes. And that's why we have our own internal natural sunscreen. Now, seeing that sun first thing in the morning is super, super important because this sets up your body to be able to protect yourself later in the day and stimulating the melanocytes to make that melanin later in the day as well, which of course is really important. So your suntan, so the more suntan, you may notice I'm a little bit tan, it's fading now, but the more suntan that you have, the better it is. It's even a better and more protective effect as compared to that mirror effect of the stratum corneum of your skin, which is so interesting. Okay, hello, hello, who's here for the first time? Put a one in the comments if you're here for the first time. And of course, you, if you're finding this interesting, we're gonna have some tips as well for getting that natural sun and safe sun exposure, which you will be able to screenshot. Now, it's called developing your natural protection, and some people call it the natural solar callus. So our ability to do that happens how? With getting more and more natural sunlight exposure, especially midday. So here are some of my tips, though, for doing it in a safe way. So my first tip is to start small. You want to get natural sunlight exposure. You want to see that early morning sunlight, but you also want to make sure that you're getting some of that UV exposure. And that happens, of course, the closer to noon that you get. And depending on where you live, what season it is, this is very variable. But there are apps that you can check as to how much UV there is in the time of day and for that season. So you're gonna start with as little, and it depends on your skin type as well, as little as 15 minutes. So you wanna see that early morning sunlight for as long as you can, and then mid at midday, around noon, you wanna get that UV exposure at least 15 minutes and work your way up, okay? And this is going to, every day you build up a little, little bit more, you're gonna know because you see your tan is getting a little bit better. And of course, if there are days when there isn't UV exposure, still get outside because even on a cloudy day, there usually is still some UV. Okay, tip number two is to cover up when you've had enough. Okay, what do animals do in the wild when they've had enough sun? They go and seek shelter. They get into the shade, the shade of a tree or bush or whatever, into a cave. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to cover up, seek that shade, but if you need to, you also want to make sure that you are covering up your skin. So if you've had enough sun, you're wearing a hat, and we're going to talk about sunglasses in just a second, but you want to cover up as much as possible when you've had enough. And you're going to know when you start to see that pinky or just feel like, ooh, that's a little bit too much, then you got to get out of the sun, okay? So follow your own body's cues. Everybody's body's cues are different. Okay, number three, no sunglasses. This is super important, especially first thing in the morning. You've got to let your brain know the proper signaling to get that natural sunlight on your skin. So you've got to have, ideally, without glasses on, without sunglasses, without contacts, a little bit of that morning sunlight as the sun is rising. Super important to tell your brain to prepare for the rest of your body to do all of what it needs to do to protect you from that UV later in the day. Okay, so that's super important, no sunglasses. And number three, four is use a natural sunscreen. So we're gonna be mixing this up in just a bit, and I'm gonna show you my recipe. Love it, love it, love it. Works like a charm, and it has that natural SPF, so we're, and there's no toxic ingredients, and I'm gonna show you that recipe in just a second. Okay, so isn't that fantastic? How many people are hearing this for the first time? That, and Claria, it's the first time on the live. Welcome, welcome, thank you for being here today, and it's so exciting to have you all here. And how many people, if this is the first time that you've heard that the sun is actually good for your skin? Is this the first time? Now we're gonna be talking about the sunlight and weight loss, but let's see how many people, yes, put a number two in the comments if this is the first time that you are hearing that the sun is good. I'm so curious because I know, yes, Okay, here we go. Let's go now to, of course, and I don't see any twos. Yes, okay, it's the first time that you're hearing it. I'm not surprised. Isaac, Mama, Jazz, and Teresa, 
Sandra, the first time that you're hearing that the sun is actually good for you, oh yeah, and I share a lot of information and we'll continue to share this information, of course, on all of my social media channels, so can make sure that you're following me. Thank you for all my new followers who are here today. It's so great to be on all the platforms and being able to share this great information with you. Okay, are we ready to make the sunscreen? This is what it looks like, final product. I made a fresh batch yesterday because guess what happened when I came back from my last sunny vacation a few weeks ago? My natural sunscreen was taken at the border, luckily on my way back after I had used it because apparently the container that I had was larger than 100 ml. So just make sure I'm going to always make it in very small batches now to make sure that it never gets taken for me again. But I had to make a fresh batch last night. And of course, for this show now, I'm going to show you exactly how to mix this up. Okay, and you're going to be able to see the recipe. So we're going to show the recipe in just a second. So you don't have to remember any of this. You just have to know how to screenshot so that you can know this yourself. Okay, so first we're mixing in some zinc oxide. Now zinc oxide, I just, it's a per purchase that I made online. It's a powder. You want to make sure that it's non-nano. So make sure it says non-nano zinc oxide. It's a white powder. You can see that. And that has a natural SPF to it. So we're going to put that into my bowl. And we're adding in six droppers of the carrot seed oil. This is an organic carrot seed oil. Six dropperfuls of that. Mixing that in as such and this dropper is not so good so i'm going to steal this dropper so six dropper full dropper fulls of the carrot seed oil into your batch and you don't have to be exact that was three four is there anybody else counting five <laughs> and six that was good okay there we go and we're also using six full droppers of raspberry seed oil now these oils naturally have spf three four five, six. Oh, that one was a little bit half full. Okay, a little bit extra for good luck. That's what I would say for my kids. Okay, the raspberry seed oil has natural SPF as well, and we're going to show that to you on the slide with the ingredients. Now I'm adding in the shea butter. Now shea butter is something that you can purchase. Usually it comes from Africa, which I love from Ghana. Um, get an organic shea butter, and depending on the shea butter that you purchase, sometimes this one's a little bit softer, but you're going to see that you're going to have to work it because some of them are a little bit harder. You may need to melt it a little bit so I could do this on a double boiler on the stove if I needed to but yeah it it will warm up as the more that you mix it in but you may need to sort of do it on a double boiler to mix it down so that it, it really gets nice and you know more greasy for you not a solid state now we also have some coconut oil so this is a quarter cup of coconut oil I've chosen to go with the more liquid one not the solid one and we also have some jojoba oil, which is amazing. So a couple tablespoons of jojoba oil also has natural SPF. And there we go. Now we're mixing this. Did I get everything, guys? I think I did. Now you can see it takes a bit to really mix this. You can actually do this with a hand mixer and use your hand mixer to work this as time goes on. But eventually it is going to look like a very uniform powdered is all sort of broken down and it turns into this beautiful sunscreen. I just want to show you this on my skin really quickly, how lovely this is. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. So basically what I do when I'm away on vacation, I know it's not the best, is look. So when I first put it on my skin, you can see how it has the white. So it has the white from the zinc oxide and you would think, okay, this is how it's going to stay. No, because of the beautiful oils in the formulation, this completely goes into the skin and it's very moisturizing for your skin. So one, what's one of the things about being in the sun? It really dehydrates the skin. Can you see how beautiful that is? I hope it shows on the camera. Can everybody see that? It's so moisturizing. It completely goes in and it's not, you know, that white, white, white. If you've ever used natural sunscreens before, and I used to <laughs> torment my kids, my poor children when they were younger. So <laughs> I do have five kids. This is one of the things that unfortunately I tormented them with is putting on that super white sun sunscreen all over their face and they looked like ghosts. Oh my goodness, my poor children. They're like, no. So whenever I come at them with sunscreen, no, no, because they thought they would be, you know, that, that ghost-like appearance. But no, this isn't that at all. It's completely 
gone into and is very protective. And I use this all the time when I'm on vacation. Absolutely love it. The whole family loves it, loves it, loves it. And will prevent that burn. Now you do have to reapply. Because of the oils, it does have a bit of a waterproof effect, which is amazing. But you do have to reapply, of course, the longer that you're in the sun. Okay, so here's the recipe. I hope everybody can see that. Can everybody see it? Yes, give me some thumbs up. User Mo, thank you for all the hearts. Thank you. And tutoring, great question. How long is this sh uh, shelf stable? I've had mine for over a year in, in the last batch that I did and it still had its effectiveness because of the natural you know, antibacterial uh, properties, of course, of some of the oils as well when it's natural that it has antioxidants within it from the carrot seed oil. So yeah, so up to a year, I would say, probably longer. But please screenshot this. So here you can see the entire recipe. And I just wanna say, if it, if it is your first time using that combination of oils, do a little patch test so that you can make sure that you don't have any type of reaction to any of those ingredients. But it is absolutely amazing. You're gonna love it, it's a game changer. And of course, there's no harsh chemicals. This was in the news a couple, you know, probably, what, like, nine, 10 months ago, or maybe even longer, in terms of the toxic effects of sunscreen and how that can be really you know, harmful for your overall health. Okay, we are at quiz time. Woohoo! Is everybody ready for quiz time? So we always have quiz questions throughout the show and you have the ability to win a prize. So this week we're playing for the Accu Blood Sugar Balance. This is graciously donated by our sponsors of the show, VitaTree, Whole Food Vitamins. So this is going to be what you're playing for this week. We're gonna announce last time's winner in just a few minutes, but all you have to do is do your best. Put your answers in your comment section, depending on where you're at and what you know, platform that you're streaming in on, just do your best and then we randomly select a winner every week. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. What is the most important time of day to see natural sunlight to protect from UV damage? Something that we just talked about, even if you're just tuning in right now and you missed it, just do your best. What time of day is most important? Okay, you've got 30 seconds, where's my clock? You got 30 seconds and the clock starts now. Get your answers in. Everybody, go ahead. Oh, wow. I see a lot of people are quick this week. Fantastic. Continue to do your best. I'm not going to say which one is the best answer. Just put your answers in. Everybody getting your answers in. Good job, good job, good job. Awesome, okay, time's up. And the answer is the best time, of course, is in the morning. So congratulations, everyone. Now, if you're late to the party, we still have two more opportunities for quiz time, so don't go anywhere. Thank you for sharing today's live as well. It's so great to have so many new people here, which I see, which is amazing. And thanks for tuning in. We do this every week. So every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is what we do, the Dr. Janine Show, sharing natural health information, of course, having a lot of fun at the same time. All right, I want to congratulate last week's winner, and that was Judy Holmes Valencia. Congratulations, you were the winner of the VitaTree Paravid. So congratulations, yay! Good job, good job, Judy. It was so great that you participated and you, you always have the chance to win again. So I hope that you're here today. If you are, give us a thumbs up and it, it, say hello so that we know that you're watching today. Okay, let's talk about weight loss. Where's Mr. Fat? Here we go, let me just grab Mr. Fat. This is what we're talking about. Can anybody guess how many pounds of fat this is? It's not fair for the people who've been here for years and you've been watching the show, but how many pounds of fat is this? Everybody take your guess, put it in, put a number in real quick in the comments. How many pounds of fat do you think this is? I see lots of answers coming in. Wow, good job, good job. Get your answers in. Good job, I like those answers. What the fluff, I like your handle name, that's amazing. Mary, I see that you're still answering our question from the quiz question, good job. Okay, so this is just five pounds. So for everybody who said five pounds, this is just five pounds of fat. So if you've lost five pounds, 10 pounds, or if you need to lose five, 10, 15 pounds, that's what five pounds looks like. And for a lot of people, especially with metabolic issues, leptin resistance, cortisol issues, that fat often sits most times around the midsection, which of course is often the most difficult to get off. 
but that's just five pounds of fat. But let's now talk though about a great herbal medicine that I love for fat loss in particular. And it's something that is you know, relatively easy to find. It's something that I like to take in a combination formula with other herbal medicines that help to balance blood glucose levels. Now we will be talking, don't worry, as much as I love burning fat, I also love eating cheesecake. We're gonna go <laughs> come to the kitchen in just a few minutes and I'm gonna share my fabulous high protein cheesecake recipe, which is a game changer, you're gonna love it, and it's healthy at the same time with no sugar. So it's amazing, so don't go anywhere for that. That is coming, but let's talk about mulberry. So mulberry, specifically white mulberry, is known to really help with keeping our blood glucose levels stable. It also has been, and in the studies, ha helps with obesity and being overweight. And there's a particular compound called rutin within mulberry. And this is really important because what it does is it helps with our brown fat. And it's known as a cold mimetic and activates our brown fat. So brown fat, if you didn't know, is very thermogenic, meaning that it creates body heat. It creates energy, which is amazing. And here we see that White fat cells, yes, we do have those. Beige fat cells, so our white fat cells can actually transform and become more beige by getting more mitochondria. And that those are, are the energy producing organelles in a cell that produce ATP. Now, the more brown that a, a fat cell becomes, it means that it has more mitochondria, can produce more heat. And that's exactly what we want, is to produce more heat. We don't want extra fat sitting on our body and not doing anything for us, you know, besides providing a little bit of insulation. We want to have it active and making that body heat. And this is how we can essentially burn calories, is to have more of that brown fat, which is great. Now, in one study, we're gonna talk about the study, and they found that rutin, of course, which acts as that cold mimetic, activates the sirtuin-1 gene, and this is something that helps with increasing the mitochondria number and uncoupling protein-1 activity in the brown adipose tissue. So to make a long story short, what this study is showing is that the white mulberry, which of course contains that rutin, helps to increase that brown fat. So again, it's not just me saying this, this is what the research shows. And by actually taking that rutin in from your mulberry, and that again, this is something that I take, and if you have questions about that, then you know put it in the comments and we can de definitely directly. And I do wanna say that I will do a Q&A at the end. So after we've gone through the recipes and everything, um, I will, and we can pull up those recipes at the end. If you do have questions, I'll be able to answer some of your questions as well. But that is really important in terms of being able to activate that brown fat to help to burn off that fat, of course, especially if you're overweight and you're struggling with your weight. Okay. Let's talk now about our viewers spotlight. So I want to congratulate. So every show, of course, thank you very much for participating. Every, thank you. And let's say congratulations in our viewer spotlight to somebody who has shouted out, somebody who said something really positive and has, you know, we love to share positive energy here at the Dr. Janine Show from myself to you and of course from everyone who's watching back to me. Love it, love it, love it. We like to call out a new person every show to, and every week to say, you know, thanks for shouting out. So this is from LPS Vintage. Hi, many thanks. You are doing a great job. Greetings from Frankfurt, Germany. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that positive vibe and I love Frankfurt Germany. Yay! That was so much fun. Okay, now let's talk. Thank you, Mr. Fat. Woohoo! Is back. Let's talk a little bit and we still have a couple quiz questions coming up, so don't go anywhere. And again, thank you for sharing today's live as well. Okay, so let's talk about some of the new sun and weight loss studies and what, you know, has happened in terms of what the research shows and again, how the sun is actually good for you and helps to shrink your fat cells. Huh, how many times have you heard that? How many times has a dermatologist told you, hey, that's good, or your doctor said, oh, you know, you're trying to lose weight, and they told you to go out in the sun. Well, you probably haven't heard that, and that's why I like to share this information. So in this study, and here we can see, oh, we'll come back to that in a second, but in this study, and this is interesting because the main researcher is, and his name is Peter Light. 
so studying light, and his name is Peter Light, and in Canada, and this is from the Alberta Diabetes Institute, and they were doing research on diabetes, and they were examining the effects of sunlight on subcutaneous fat cells and the white fat cells that are found beneath our skin. And what they found is that those white fat cells is that major fat deposit that we have. And oops, I just lost my mic. A central, can we hear everybody? Let me just adjust that for a second. An essential player in regulating our whole body metabolism. So come in and look at this study, and we're going to show you now that daily exposure of differentiated adipocytes to blue light resulted in decrease lipid droplet size. So what does that mean in plain English? That means that everything is affected by the sunlight and that the sun was able to actually shrink those fat cells and increased the lipolytic effect. What does that mean? The rate. That means actually helping to kill off and burst those fat cells. So hello, the research shows, and this was found by accident in studying diabetes, that natural sunlight exposure helps to get rid of fat. So this is amazing, and I want you to look up. I mean, if you're a nerd like me and you like to read studies, then look this up. You can screenshot that really quickly. Fascinating information. Okay, so we know that you know when we talk about the fat cells, white fat is kind of more known as the bad type of fat because it just stores our calories and those calories are ideally burned for energy. But if it's dysfunctional and our fat cells aren't working the way that they should, that can of course lead to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Now, this is interesting that the blue light, so blue light is highest from the sun. I'm not talking about blue light from our devices. Blue light from the sun is usually highest midday when the UV is the highest. And that had the best effect at killing off or you know, shrinking, getting rid of the extra fat that our body holds on to. So what does that tell you? As much as you're told stay out of the sun, stay out of the sun, especially midday when the sun is the strongest, that of course is the most important time in terms of being able to break down those fat cells. And again, we've got the white fat cell, We've got the beige fat cell, which has more of the mitochondria, and of course we have the brown fat that has more, even more mitochondria and is more metabolically active. And the sun helps to, is working actually on that white fat, which is a good thing because the white fat is usually the most stubborn and it's not metabolically active. Okay, so does everybody love that info? Put some sun emojis, please. Tell me that you love the sun, and even if you don't, that you're gonna try to get out into more natural sunlight exposure especially if you've got to lose a bit of that weight. This can be a game changer for your body. And of course, thank you for the follows, guys. I see all these, Audrea, nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in today. I see lots of sunshine. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And hopefully here, I mean, we're in Canada. Hopefully some of that sun is going to come back very soon. Let's pray that we have a nice, long, sunny wind, uh, summer uh, coming up. Okay, let's go to quiz question number two. Is everybody ready? Okay, just do your best to participate. Here we go, quiz question number two. You've got 30 seconds. What is the name of the compound, this is a bit tricky, in white mulberry that activates brown fat for weight loss? Everybody ready? Got 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go, put your answers in. This is tricky, I hope you're paying attention. Good job. And remember, we're playing for the AccuBlood Sugar Balance. This is from our great sponsors at Vita Tree. We thank them for that, everybody. Woo, everybody get your answers in. I see some people were Diva Organic. I see some people were definitely paying attention. I love the fact that this is good. A lot of good students here. And we're out of time already. Wow, that was a fast 30 seconds. Good job, everybody. A lot of people got down. I'm actually shocked. This is great, because I, I thought I was gonna you know, throw a curveball to you. The answer is Rutin. Some of you even spelled it right, and I know what you meant. So Quebec 22 Twin, I see that you even spelled it correctly. So good job, everyone. Okay, guess what? We're going to the kitchen. Yay, 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 we're making cheesecake. How many people love cheesecake? I crave, in my fourth pregnancy, I crave so much cheesecake. I don't know why, I just crave cheesecake. 
it was like a thing for me. I loved it. But finding a healthy recipe and being able to do this. So this is a recipe that I came up with myself, of course, to be able to increase the protein content and not have the sugar because sugar, as we know, with leptin resistance, insulin resistance, it's a problem and not, not the healthiest thing. Now, if you're just tuning in, we did make our own sunscreen earlier in the show. We'll come back to that. And when it, we do the Q&A, we'll come back to the natural sunscreen so that you can definitely get that recipe as well. And you can always screenshot the recipes. OK, so this is my high protein cheesecake recipe. Where's the cheesecake? OK, it's in there. You want to see what it looks like? No, we'll do the reveal at the end. I'll pull it out of the fridge after. OK, so this is absolutely delicious, super easy. You just need a blender. So any type of blender will do. It's not super complicated. You don't need you know, a super duper blender. But all you're doing is you're adding some cream cheese. And I'm going to show you this recipe. So about a half a brick of cream cheese, or sometimes a little bit more, into your blender with some Greek yogurt. So one and a half cups of Greek yogurt into your blender. And you're going to blend that up. Now, Greek yogurt, we know, is high protein. Try to get one that doesn't have sugar. So I just got a plain. Now, if you really you know, feel like you need a little bit of extra sweetness, you could use a vanilla Greek yogurt in your recipe. We've also got an egg. So these, of course, are pastured eggs, which are amazing. You're going to add that in. And we have, thank you very much, some vanilla extract so a pure vanilla extract about a teaspoon of that of course i don't really ever measure things it's difficult for me to actually say amounts because my recipes anybody who's watched the show before i just i just dump things in that i think i don't know i do it by intuition it doesn't always work out that too well for me but, but most times it works out a quarter cup of monk fruit or another sweetener if you feel that you need it, you may not need it, you, but I like a little bit because I'm using unflavored. So this is from our great sponsors again at VitaTree, unflavored whey protein powder. And I'm using two scoops, which is 40 grams of protein. You could do a vanilla protein powder. powder. This, is, um, this is unflavored. That's totally up to you. And you're going to then blend that up. Now, for time's sake, I'm just going to maybe fake it for a second. <laughs> okay, so ideally then that gets nice and incorporated and blended and you're going to pour that into your spring form dish that has some parchment paper. So we were able, Melinda, thank you, you cut the parchment paper. Wow, you did that. Wow, she did that so fancy. You actually like measured it properly and I don't know if you can see that. She's laughing at me right now. But a perfect circle inside the dish, you're going to pour your mixture in there. If you wanted to add a few blueberries, because this is a blueberry high protein cheesecake, a few blueberries into that mix, you could do that. Now, for the blueberry part, we're going over to the stove. And on the stove, I have my frozen blueberries. Okay, so about two thirds of a cup of frozen blueberries. You're going to cook those gently, and you're just going to mix a bit of water with cornstarch, and I promise that we will have that recipe. So you're gonna blend that up. Sorry, I'm taking a dirty spoon and don't, don't judge. No judgment here when I use the other spoon for that thing to this thing we're all making. It's all going to the same place. You're gonna mix your cornstarch, and that's going to help to thicken. So you're gonna heat this up on medium. I'm adding the cornstarch and water into that heated mixture that's going to blend up, that's going to thicken really nice. Now here again, it's totally up to you if you want to add a little bit more sweetener. So this is monk fruit into this and blend that up. That's totally, that's your call. The first time, you know, first few times that I made this, it, I didn't really feel that I needed the sugar, but then the kids were like, oh, it's not sweet enough. So I, yeah. Anyway, that's totally up to you. So you're going to blend that up. It's going to get nice and thick. And after the, so this is going into the oven. And we've got those details, I believe, on, on the recipe in just a second. It's going into the oven. It's coming out. And then you have your beautiful, you're going to put, after it's cooled, you're putting your beautiful blueberry mixture, which has now thickened a little bit, on top. You're going to put this in the fridge. And then what we did, and I'm going to hold that up for you, is I crunched up some cookies. So these are a particular type of cookie that I love. You used to get them on the airplanes. I don't know if they still give them on the airplanes. And, and this does have sugar in it, but whatever. It's just a little bit 
for around the outside. But you could do a graham cra cracker if you have low you know, sugar cookies, whatever you want. You don't have to do this, but it's just for presentation and a bit of taste and crunch on top. And you can see what that looks like. It is so good. You will absolutely love it. And it's about 16 grams of protein per serving on this. So yeah, that, that's a good amount of protein, you know, per serving without the sugar, which is amazing, which you will absolutely love. So I hope that you try this recipe. We're going to show you the absolute best screenshot that you can take. It's such a beautiful recipe. I don't know. Sam, you did such a great job on this one. So let's say thank you and a clap to Sam. Yay! On the recipe. It looks so nice and so delicious, but wait until you taste this recipe. Okay. So here, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yay, Sam. Okay. So here we go. Here is the recipe, and it's a two-parter, so you're going to screenshot page one. This is page one, so screenshot that really quickly. I hope everybody's getting it, and then you can screenshot. So again, we've got our cream cheese, Greek yogurt, egg, vanilla extract, and our protein powder, and then we've added in on the stove. You're doing that mixture with the blueberries, the water, the cornstarch. You can add the sweetener if you want and then you're going to just blend. So it's so super easy. That's what I love about this recipe. It's so super easy. You can do it really quickly. Blend that all in the blender. You're baking, sorry, at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes or more. So here's the thing. I've used different types of yogurts. The thicker your yogurt, the less cooking time. So you may have to go up to 40 minutes cooking. That's variable depending on your oven, of course, and the type of yogurt. So you'll, you'll see the consistency of your mixture from the blender. If it's quite watery, then it's, it's going to have to cook a little bit more. You may want to you know, um, just gauge and, and jot it down for the next time that you make it. OK. OK, so here we're going to screenshot this really quickly. We're coming in on this. I think there were, there were a few requests that we can see this even closer. So there you go. Everybody got that? We're going to come up to quiz question number three in just a second. Please give a thumbs up. I hope you got all of that. Oh, and I, I see, okay, a comment. This is a great comment on YouTube. People that have lactose intolerance, yes, you can use, you know, find the alternates that are out there, whether it's coconut or whatever. You don't have to use the dairy. Um, is there, in terms of cheeses, there are, you know, sort of the vegan, non-dairy types of cheeses out there. You'd have to experiment um, with that to, to make it more, you know, lactose friendly. Okay? Great point. Thank you for bringing that up. All right. Okay. So we are at quiz question number three already. Wow. This this show is just flying by. And I hope that you've got questions. Thank you for all my new followers and thank you for tuning in today. This is the last opportunity. Remember, we're playing for a prize, the AccuBlood Sugar Balance, from our great sponsors again at VitaTree. So we thank you for this. And are we ready? We got 30 seconds. Let's go. This is super easy. I hope everybody's fast on this one. I'm going to see who's really quick. First comments. I'm looking for this one. OK, are we ready? True or false, sunlight can shrink white fat cells. You've got 30 seconds starting now. Where's our clock? There you go. This one's too easy. There you go. I see, Don Saul, very fast. Before it even came out of my mouth, you had the answer there. Good job. Everybody, get your answers in. Sunlight can shrink our white fat cells. Is that true? Is it false? Do we know? All right. Everybody get your answers in. Three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. I think most people got the correct answer in. Yes, of course. Sunlight can shrink our white fat cells. Yay! And that's, again, it's not just me saying it. That is the research has shown this. So make sure that, you know, if you wanted to play back, if you're just tuning in now, welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Janine. This is the Dr. Janine Show. That you can definitely, you know, see this episode. It still lives on Instagram and on YouTube. And I believe on Facebook as well. Um, that you can revisit the show and look at all that research that we have there. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, we have so far talked about safe sun exposure. We've talked about weight loss. We've made my own natural homemade sunscreen. So we made this today and I shared that recipe. If anybody wants to see those recipes again, please put it in the comments and we will bring up the recipes again so that you can screenshot them. So just put it in the comments and my team is behind the scenes answering your questions. We also just came off out of the kitchen and we made, whoa, I'm going to lose the cheesecake. 
you know, the crew is like salivating for the cheesecake after we <laughs> close the show, so I can't drop it on the floor. They would probably eat it anyways. Well, I would eat it anyways off our clean studio floor floors here. We had to. Okay, now, how about ask me some questions? I know a few questions came out throughout the show, so ask me some questions, ask away. And if you do have specific, specific questions about some of the things that we talked about, please do send an email to hello at vitatree.com. That team, you know, when we talk about certain ingredients and we talk about, you know, some of the, the things that you can take internally, the team at VitaTree is very well versed in, you know, all my research and all my protocols that I use and I help people. I actually am on television here in Canada and I talk and maybe you've seen me there. So say, say hello or a Canadian flag if you've seen me on TV. I'd love to see how many fellow Canadians we have here. Um, but this is something that, yeah, that I do and I educate a lot of people about, you know, supplementation and whole food supplements and things as well. So this is something that, uh, yeah, that, I, I already see some great questions coming in, and I don't know if some came in, so you guys can feed them to me as well throughout the show. But if you do have specific questions, put them in the comments section, and but use that email because that team is very well versed in all of my protocols, and they can definitely answer those questions that you may have if I'm not able to get to you, because you can imagine on all these platforms that we're streaming on, I can't always get to everybody's you know, comments. And even if it's just a shout out, say hello. Uh, Zaina is in, Can in Canada. Canada CA. Yes. Okay, awesome. Nice to see you. Yay, yay, yay. Donsell, yes, is in Canada. Awesome, awesome. I guess you couldn't find the Canadian flag. It's hard to find the emoji sometimes, right? <laughs> Love that. And Kate, Katie is in Montreal. Hello. Nice to see you. Bonjour. Nice to see you. Um, and Bestie with Daisies in Davenport, Florida. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, Sasonia Mahal is in USA. Nice to see you. Elaine Gross, you watch me on TSC. Okay, awesome. So yeah, you're definitely in Canada then. That's great. Um, and Victor in Canada and India. Nice to see you. I'm glad maybe your family is watching as well. And Jose in California. Nice to see you. And Queen is in Queen 9 from Canada. Nice to see you. Awesome, awesome. Okay, how long? Here's a great question. Mini, how long do you have before you have to reapply sunscreen? So for my own natural sunscreen remedy, and I'm just going to speak for my own skin, I have type 2, type 3 Fitzpatrick skin. I burn very easily. Um, but I build up my solar exposure as time goes on. And the spring is a really opportune time. Whenever the sun is out, I, I go and sit out as much as I can just to, you know, prime my skin for, the, for that coming summer and the, and the harsher UVs. So for myself, for reapplying, it depends if I've been in the water or not. Most times I'm in the water, so I find a couple hours. I mean, it, it works really well, my own natural sunscreen, the one that we made today in the show. Um, yeah, two hours usually. Sometimes I only need to apply it once, and, and that's good. Now, I'm sensible, though, too. I'll go into the shade. I'll, I'll cover up when I feel like I've had too much. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, two hours for me. Some people, depending on your skin tone and type, and how men, if you're, please don't wear the sunglasses. Only wear the sunglasses um, because you'll burn, you'll fry if you wear sunglasses because your brain now, when you wear sunglasses, getting the message that there's no sun because you're, you're putting the shades on, right? So your brain gets the message, oh, there's no need for sun protection and you're not gonna secrete all the chemicals that you need and your melanocytes aren't gonna make the melanin that you need in time for the UV. It's, there's gonna be a disconnect in terms of that timing. So yeah, don't wear the sunglasses unless, the only time I wear them is if at the end of the day, walking on the beach or out on the water and it's super, super bright and I just feel like my eyes have had enough, that's when I'll put on the, sun, on the sunglasses. Or if I'm reading you know, on a white, white book or whatever, uh, something that's very bright, then I'll wear the sunglasses. But for the most time, I try not to wear them at all. Wearing a hat is good. It'll provide some shelter from um, the sun. But if you have hair loss issues, you don't want to wear your hat all the time as well because the natural rays from the sun are actually very healing to the scalp, especially the red light. So as the sun is setting, that red light is really good. And as the sun is coming up, the red uh, rays from the sun are great for your, for your scalp and for your hair growth. Okay, which we're going to be talking about next week is hair growth. Yes. Where do I get the... 
the raspberry oil from the health food store. You can purchase it online as well, but it is, yeah, it's easy to find in the health food store. That's where I got it, the red, red for, the, for the sunscreen recipe. Great question, red raspberry oil, which has a natural SPF. I don't know, if, can we pull up the sunscreen recipe again? I didn't point that out, the different SPF per ingredient. Um, I just wanna call that out really quickly because when, oh, thank you. Okay, so the zinc, of course, has an SBF between 2 and 20, depending on the concentration that you're using in your recipe. And we're using 3 quarters of a tablespoon, so that's a good amount. Um, and can you use it on the face? I use it on the face all the time. Absolutely, yes, because it has antioxidant properties, which is anti-aging. Hello, it's so nourishing. You're going to love it once you start using it. Uh, the carrot seed oil on its own is an, has its own SBF of 35 to 40. So again, because of those antioxidants, that carrot seed oil is a natural SPF, as well as the raspberry seed oil is an SPF of 25 to 50. So these are powerful SPFs to help with that protection. The shea butter has an SPF between six and 10 and the coconut oil between four and six. But I just, because there's always those people out there, you know, the caveat to this is that you don't put it on and think you can fry yourself. No, you have to be sensible with sun exposure because you can still overdo it even with using sunscreen. So just be sensible. When you get that inkling that you've had enough, you gotta cover up, you gotta get into the shade, you gotta go, you know, um, and seek, seek shelter from the sun, especially if it's in the, those hours of UV, which is typically, you know, in the summertime between 10 and 4 or 5 p.m., depending on where you live, okay? So that's really important. I just want to say that. I don't want people coming at me saying, hey, you said you can put this stuff on and fry your... No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Oh, I like this. What the fluff? Yes. You're good to bathe your closed eyes in the sun for a few minutes, too. I've done this since I was a little girl. So... Strong sunlight, of course, you never look directly at the sun, never, ever, ever. But yeah, you just do this, and it's called sunning of the eyes. Amazing to have natural sunlight on your closed eyelids. It, it just does wonderful things for your entire body, which is amazing. Okay, so thank you for bringing that up. Good, good, good. And does it cause breakouts? No, Trish, two, two, two. Great question. It does not cause breakouts for me. Um, and I've used it for my kids and teenagers and things, no breakouts. So yeah, so that, that's my experience. Everybody has different skin, so I'm not going to say, you know, but for us, there is no breakouts. It's amazing. Uh, user 301870, you want to do a parasite cleanse, but you're scared. Don't be scared. It's one of the best things. You should be more scared of the bugs that are inside you. And that's really important, you know, in terms of parasite cleansing, use the herbal medicines. It's something that I talk about a lot in my protocols when I'm on TV. I talk a lot about this. It's um, our top two sellers, you know, when we talk about, uh, you know, really addressing and getting at protocols in terms of being able to help the gut. And, you know, when we talked about SIBO a couple weeks ago, really important that you kill off those, those bad, bad parasites, which is so important. Okay, great questions. Any other questions? Oh, Lori. Lori has a great comment. I hope that we take this down, so please. Uh, okay, so Lori from, is it Antioch, California? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for your help. My eyes are getting better. I was driving home last night, and I noticed I'm seeing clearer. Thank you so very much. Lori, I'm so happy. Amazing. Maybe you can put a few words in. What did you do? What did you change? I'm so happy for your eyesight. Yeah, this is something that we've talked about in previous episodes as well on the show is about how to improve your eyesight naturally and some of the very specific nutrients that you can take for that, which is awesome, awesome. Thank you for all, you know, the new people who are here today. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you are following me if you're here for the first time, and I appreciate that. And thank you for liking, you know, click those likes or whatever you do. I don't, I don't even know sometimes. I, um, you got to click the screen or something to get those, those hearts flowing, which I can't see right now. But thank you for doing that and all the love that you share and sharing the gifts and things. And thank you for sharing today's live as well. I know a lot of you share my episodes. When you first tune in, you share it to all your friends um, to let them know that, you know, hey, what are we doing over here at the Dr. Janine show? You know, doing a bunch of fun stuff and hopefully sharing a lot of new information that you have heard. I mean, how many of you knew about the sunlight and actually helping to break down our fat cells? How many of you knew that? 
I mean, if it's your first time hearing this, please put a one in the comments because I think it's super fascinating and, and to, to know that people have actually researched this um, to be able to use natural sunlight exposure. And, and no wonder when you see super healthy, fit people on the beach who have a beautiful tan, most times they don't have a lot of excess you know, fat on the body. I've seen some pictures. Hopefully I can find this picture. There's some picture of con comparing a beach scene back in, I believe, the set early 70s, 1970s in California, and that same beach scene now, and what people look like, it's remarkable, because back then, nobody wore sunglasses, everybody had a nice tan, everybody was super fit and thin, and, you know, think back in the 70s, nobody went to gyms and things, we just, you know, I was born in the 70s, so I can say this, I was a baby at the time, but, um, but yeah, but that, this is something that, yeah, there weren't gyms and things. You did natural, you know, going for walks or going for a jog or riding your bike or going swimming in the ocean or lake or whatever. You did natural forms of daily exercise, which was very different. And of course, no sunglasses and getting a lot of sun exposure. So that that's the big difference here. Instagram Bella has a question. Yes. Oh, so seasonal allergies and what to do about that. Have we talked about this? No, but can we add it to next week's show? I believe we can. So tune in, Bella, please tune in next week. So we do the show every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I promise we will talk about seasonal allergies and some of the takeaways that I've learned over the years based on the research, what in natural ingredients that you can take in supplement form to help with seasonal allergies, natural antihistamines. I talk a lot about uh, this on television and I can definitely point you in the right direction. So that is something we will talk about next week again on the channel that you're watching right now and at the same time. Thank you, Fatma from Dubai. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please let me know if you're here, you know, please let me know where everybody's from because it's so much fun to have you all here. So many people from all parts of the world, which is amazing. A lot of people in Africa now, apparently, I just realized this morning, a lot of uh, people in Africa are actually watching on TikTok. So that is so much fun. And if you are from Africa, please, and tell me where in Africa, please let me know on TikTok. I'm so curious to see. Thank you for tuning in and everybody who's here for the first time. This is Dr. Janine. That's me, naturopathic doctor and I've been in this wellness space for close to 30 years now and studying I do a lot of research I've written a couple of books and working on my third book now so I'm super excited about that and yeah it's so great to have so many new followers Celoni in Atlanta Georgia thank you for tuning in it's nice to see you and Keith you are in New Mexico awesome somebody else is in Ontario and hello Saring in Portland, USA, great to have you here. Do you have anything uh, water, watery eyes for allergies? Absolutely, I will be talking about that next week, so make sure you tune in. I've got some great natural substances that you can take for that. Amazing, amazing game changers without the negative side effects. So a lot of people can't take conventional antihistamines because of the negative side effects of the drowsiness and uh, the big warnings that say do not operate you know, heavy machinery, drive a car and things if you take them, and they're super expensive as well, the conventional ways to treat allergies. They, and in my estimation, anything that has those negative side effects, you shouldn't be taking um, if it's outweighing sort of the good and what you're looking to do in terms of allergies. So that's important. So we will talk about seasonal allergies next time. Linda, osteoarthritis and supplements for osteoarthritis it is something that we've talked about. So joint health is something that we continue to talk about and osteoarthritis is a big one. So the big go-tos are glucosamine, sulfate, chondroitin sulfate, MSM, Boswellia, which is frankincense. So a combination of those things plus turmeric. So a lot of the studies on turmeric um, are remarkable in terms of being able to help with osteoarthritis, especially of the knee. So for whatever reason, they always do studies on osteoarthritis of the knee, probably because it's a big joint. You can see it easily in terms of follow-up studies. So that is, yeah, so love turmeric and with curcumin, with a high percentile of the, those curcuminoids. So that is important to look for. Again, if you've got specific questions, let me just pull this up really quickly. Sorry, am I moving too fast for you guys? <laughs> Let's back up over here. Just send an email, hello at vitatree.com. If there's like different supplements and things that you're thinking of, that you're wondering, you want to, you can't wait till next week, you want to be pointed in the right direction, just send an email over here and the team will be able to help you in terms of answering those questions. Help for sciatica, oh yes, user 968. 
my sciatic nerve a couple of weeks ago was bothering me and yeah so I had my go-to's and within 48 hours it, it completely cleared up so that is an interesting thing that maybe we could talk about in a future episode I'm not sure I think next week we are talking about nasal breathing so that's one thing that's so important a big request about that and, and the research around nasal breathing so why it's important to breathe through your nose and not through your mouth especially when you're sleeping and three things that I did myself for like this crazy hair growth if you saw me even a few years ago after having babies and things and hormones changing um, hair growth has always been you know not a challenge I've always had great hair but at the same time to see what's happened with my own hair growth there are three things that I did for this crazy hair growth so I'm going to be sharing that in my next episode so don't go anywhere maybe share that with someone um, who know needs to know about hair growth or if you're just looking to like my hair wasn't bad I just wanted to make it better and yeah there were three things that I in particular did so I'm going to be sharing that to help with my hair growth and to avoid some very particular toxins in your homes, we'll be talking about that. We're talking spring detox, and we'll ta be talking about those spring allergies as well. Also, I always do beauty tips in every show, which is so much fun. And so make sure that you tune in next week as well. Abby, Sheila Jeet, I know, what do I think? I've not taken it myself, but the research, so you know the effects that it has on people, very promising. Um, I've not yet tried it myself, so that, that's something maybe in a coming episode. I do these challenges sometimes as well. I did that with black seed oil a few years back on the show. We did a whole challenge and I tried it and then we talked about it with my followers, like how did it feel, what happened, and then, you know, how did it work for you? So that, maybe we could do that with Sheila Jeet. We'll take a, um, uh, we'll take a note on that one. Okay, I'm just reading all the comments here and um great questions guys thank you for tuning in i know a lot of you are here for the first time today which is amazing and it's uh it's so great to have you all here today and to have had you here if you missed it you can always reference back so we made our own natural sunscreen we also made this delicious high protein cheesecake about 16 grams of protein per serving I mean, that is amazing. And here's the sunscreen, so a natural sunscreen that we blended up today. So that was all part of the show. Thank you for tuning in. It was so great to have you all here. And again, we do this every Tuesday at this time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now make sure that you tune in next week. Check out all my content between now and next week. I want you to check out my content, like, share, and do all those fun things on all of the different social media platforms. And then let me know if you have questions from any of my content. Bring that up here in the show as well, and hopefully I'll be able to answer those questions for you. One of my goals is to always teach you and to empower you over the healing of your own body, mind, and spirit. It was so great to have you all here today and we'll see you next week. Bye.